This week at work, someone said, hey, you got the Riz, huh? I know, unbelievable, which is okay because I made it up. But you didn't stop to question if that happened. You just accepted that it happened. You were more curious, like, oh, why did that happen? When did that happen? But you were like, oh, no, it definitely happened, which I think is crazy, right? Then you heard that and you were like, no, that definitely happened. In no world should that have happened. But you were like, no, it did. In this world we currently live in, that totally happened. Uh, but I can let you know it didn't happen. I promise you it didn't happen. Which, thank God. Because why would that even be said <laughs> in a work environment, right? I don't know. But that's been one uh, word I've been hearing. Hearing the kids say a lot nowadays, riz, right? And it's interesting finding out, like, seeing adults learn it. Because uh, they're like, oh, what is that word? And then basically the easiest way to describe it is charisma. And they're like, oh, okay, so why don't you just say that? And it's like, well, because that's not the way the world works, Deborah. Okay, so just adapt or die, I guess, you know? <laughs> why do you have to question everything? Why can't it just be the way it is, right? I don't have anything better to say about that. I, You missed it, and I saved you from it. But this is actually my third time trying to start this podcast. The first time, I, I just kept messing up. I don't know what it was. I just couldn't say the words properly. And then the second time, I had a full-blown uh, existential crisis. I just was talking for four to five minutes, and it was going nowhere. I even stopped. I stopped and just stared at nothing for about 30 seconds. Uh, so I was like, let me just restart this. But the whole thing that I started talking about was, and this is an idea I've been met with pretty recently, it's, I keep finding myself wondering who cares. And in every aspect of the world, I think we all have to act like we care, right? Like at work, you have to feign interest because that's part of the job. It's not in the description, but it's part of it, right? You have to be a decent human at work. And part of that is caring what people have to say. And also, there's a lot of learning opportunities, right? So you have to care. And then that's how you get money, right? And then in real life, outside of work, you talk to people and you have to feign interest or, you know, caring because that's how you be a nice person. And I would say a majority of people care to be nice. And so we have to be like, oh, yeah, I, I care about the thing you say. But I think I've just gotten to such a cynical place in my mind. I don't know if it's cynical or what the word is, but I've gotten to a place in my mind where I can basically, like, with everyone, uh, create an argument that is uh, they don't care. So why am I telling it? Because that's the thing. I feel like a lot of times people don't care. And so that's why, like, with this podcast, I haven't done it in two weeks. And I just, the first week I was like, oh, well, I have a lot of work to do. That's a good argument to not do this. And then last week I didn't do it. And I had the time. And I was just like, yeah, who cares? You know, that's the thing. Who gives a single dang, you know, who gives a damn <laughs> We're not beavers out here. Am I right? But I was like, what's the, there's no point in this. This thing I'm doing right here, this is pointless. I'm not working towards a thing. I'm just doing this. This is just a thing you're existing in. And that's, I think, a microcosm of like everything else in life. Where it's like with your full-time job and stuff, it's like you're not working towards a thing. You're just doing it. You're existing in that state. With school, you always, like, were working towards a thing. There was always, like, a bigger goal and then the celebration, right? You're working to the end of a semester. Then it was a quarter, a trimester. Maybe it still was a semester in college. But you're always working towards a thing. And then, there, you know, you hold your breath for 11 weeks and then you finally exhale. But I'm like, wait, in real life, when the fuck do you exhale? I don't know when it is. And so that's one thing I've been met with is, like, uh... What do, we, what do we do now? <laughs> we just exist in this state? Like, what are we working towards? I don't know. Shoot. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, in my most recent video, it's been a while since I talked to you, so this was posted in the meanwhile. Uh, that was my second point, right? I've had so many existential crises since I started working full-time, and yeah, no, there was one. But I don't even know. I, I had a point and I don't know what it was. But I just, I don't, yeah, the podcast. What is, what is this for? 
there's no point to this. It's just a thing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> no, but there is a point to it, right? There's not like a giant point. Like it's not like this is uh, this is working to cure a thing like a disease or whatever, right? Uh, who knows? This might be causing some. Uh, this might be giving people ear infections. But the little things it does is, I guess, it allows me to get better at speaking. Or is that the lie I tell myself? No, it's true. I've noticed ever since I started this podcast, I now have this ability to just talk in real life. And so if people need me to, I can do it. And I can talk about nothing. I'm great at talking about nothing. Which I guess to some people might seem like it has substance. But to me, there's so many things that don't have substance. So everything I talk about, to me, it seems like it doesn't. It's, it is nothing. Because I'm like, nothing I say has real substance. It's so weird. I'm like towing the line between like a normal episode and me just like breaking down. But I've I have a lot of things to talk about. Like I wrote a bunch of notes over the past two weeks. Even two weeks ago, I, I got excited about recording this podcast because I was like, oh my God, I think I finally like found my flow. Not speaking, but coming up with ideas. I found out how to like focus on certain things in life so that every week I have enough to talk about here. And then I just didn't because I got busy with work. And then last week I was like, well, who gives, who cares? This podcast takes three hours to make. It takes 15 minutes to set up, 45 minutes to record, and then two hours to edit. It only takes three hours. If you do the math, that's not a lot of time, right? Out of a weekend, 48 hours, let's take out 16 for sleep. Now you got 32 hours, you're only asking for three of them. It's not that big of a deal. And still, sometime, somehow, some way. I have a hard time doing it. I don't know why that is. I don't know. And that's the thing with this conversation I'm having right now. I don't even think there's a point to this conversation. I'm not even trying to get somewhere with it because there's no answer. I'm still thinking about it, but um, this isn't going to help me just talking it out like this. Let's go to a topic. <laughs> uh, I have a... No, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Here's one, sure. Uh, cracking an egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles. This is true. Uh, there's people that crack a hand. <laughs> there are people that crack their hands. And I'm like, doesn't that have long-term implications? That's one thing we're still not clear on, right? Is cracking your joints and stuff, is that bad? Because I see people do it. I'm like, ooh, that sounds destructive. But then they still do it. And I'm not going to speak up and be like, yeah, you shouldn't do that. It's like cigarettes. Cigarettes and cracking body parts, it's the same thing. If you're going to do them, you're going to do them. And uh, you don't need some annoying fucking bitch in your ear being like, uh, you know, you shouldn't. Shut up, okay? I'm. We're well beyond... <laughs> I've worked out the reasoning. I'm going to do this. You can't, I'm, nothing you say is going to turn me the other way. Okay. You really think your fucking screechy ass tinny voice is going to get me to be like, uh, oh, uh, oh, are you saying don't do it? Great thought. I, I wish I had that one here. You know what? Take these bag of cigarettes and do what you will with them. I don't know because I don't have any use for them anymore. That's all you. Thank you. You healed me. <laughs> but yeah cracking an egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles you know holding the handles you don't need to do it it's not necessary but people do it and it shows a level of finesse it shows people that oh they kind of that's not a thing you just get on a bike or you just grab an egg and you can do the first time it shows that oh they they worked at it it speaks on someone's character right it means that they had enough it's not determination, but enough, like, uh, not drive either, but they cared enough to, like, spend some time doing that. And now they're here. It shows that they took the time. And then, you know, I guess that says something about the person, right? Because you're like, oh, if you took the time to learn a thing, then, uh, oh, you'll take the time. You, 
you have shown that you can care. Now I just have to get you to care about the right things, right? <laughs> but then the other, in the other hand, on the other hand, there's another egg and you can crack it with one hand too. But it's weird because you don't need to do these things. They don't have to be cracked with one hand. You can do it with two. You don't have to ride a bike with no handles. You can grab onto those suckers. But people still do them. And they could do it and like not even realize it. Like they've gotten so good to the point where they're like, oh, is that special? I forgot. But to everyone watching them, they're like, I that's noticeable. Like you, I know it might not be noticeable to you, but I, that shows that level of caring, right? Man. Man, I, I really, I really don't know what it is. I, mentally, I am, I am stuck. I don't know, I don't know what to talk about. I, I have a list of things in front of me and I am, I'm stuck. I, I, how did I used to do this? I, I say it like it's like some <laughs> ancient, you know, in like the movies, the, the common trope is like, oh, going and finding the expert that's like cloistered away, um, has been secluded, self-isolation, and then being like, come on, one last concert, one last dance, you know, one last game to prove you still got it, you know? Uh, and it was like 40 years ago they were a professional. Uh, no, I just recorded my last episode of this three weeks ago. This isn't, a, I've taken longer breaks of this podcast. But even now I'm like, man, what, the, what did I used to do? It could just be like today. I, I could be in a weird headspace today. And so I don't know what to talk about. That could be it. That could be it. I had a weird day today. Well, what did I do? Well, for starters, I went to sleep at 8 a.m., yeah, the day before I woke up at noon and then I stayed up 20 hours and I went to sleep at 8 a.m. And then I wanted to get my, you know, sleep in, so I, I set an alarm for 3.30. So I went to sleep from 8 a.m. to 3.30. I actually ended up getting out of bed at like 4, so yeah. Eight hours of sleep. And so now it's 12.42 a.m. So I woke up, what, uh, eight-ish? hours ago eight ish nine ish hours ago i haven't been up that long but like i maybe my like rhythm's all fucked because this is not this is not like a normal rhythm someone should be on like i have work today and i have enough sleep so i know like i'll go to sleep in the next hour and i'll wake up but yeah what, see even this why am i saying this what is this what is the purpose of me saying that it doesn't matter who cares <laughs> This isn't, there's no entertainment value. There's no educational value. Even, even on a personal level, this doesn't, this isn't something you would bother a friend or a family member with. They do, this doesn't matter. Is, so is this cynicism? Is this, no, it's, it's nihilism, right? Shout out Nile Horn. No, it's like where you're like, nothing matters, right? That's what this is. Which, no, because, oh yeah, because cynicism is like, you, you look at, you're a pessimist, right? You look at the evil in it all, right? Uh, cynical. But yeah, nihilism, nihilist point of view, that's just like, oh, nothing matters, right? Is that what this is? Is that what's happening here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever had this feeling. It's, there's... It was just so weird. I've never had this feeling. Like in my brain, I there's really I have nothing. I got nothing. I don't know. I like, wow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess do what do we go back to the topics? I didn't expand on that egg bike thing at all. Well, okay, let me try to. I guess. So where is it? Cracking an egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, you don't have to eat neither of them. Okay. You don't have to do either of them. But some people do them. Okay. That's good. 
Nice. Um, I can't do either. I don't care to do either. But I think sooner I will learn to crack an egg than ride a bike with no handles. Crack an egg with one hand rather than ride a bike with no... Okay, the computer screen turned off. Hold on. I I apologize. I don't... This is truly... Like, if you shut this off, that's fine. I don't... It doesn't... It's fine. The... I... Wow. Holy shit. I don't know what's going on. This is a really weird feeling. That I... I literally... I don't have anything. Well, okay. So maybe there's nothing to it. No, there is. No, there's a reason I wrote it down. And I was excited to write it down. I had some way I was going to take that. Cracking an egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles, right? Both people think they look cool. But it's really just unnecessary. And, ooh, it opens up... It only opens up a chance of disaster, right? Like when you crack an egg... No, but either... either No. Because hmm. even if you crack an egg normally or you ride a bike normally, there's still chance of disaster. But this makes it more likely, right? When it's a hands-off experience... Oh, oh, okay. Hey, there's there's an angle, right? Uh, most people think when you're hands off, that's a good thing, right? Because it means the system is working independently. But maybe that's a disregard, a lack of care. Man. <laughs> See, I haven't taken even, like, there's no funny angle either. What? Okay, what's a joke to make about that? One, one in the hands, two in the bush, and if you ride a bike with no handles, you'll end up in a bush, but at least you'll have an egg in your hand. That's not funny. That's, okay. <laughs> That's just taking an aphorism and, like, fucking it up. Okay. <laughs> um, An egg with one hand. Is it okay? Here's okay. Would the same, would they be the same person? Hmm. Like, would the same person that cracks an egg with one hand be the same person that rides a bike with no handles? It makes you think. Uh, there, there. No, I don't think there's a correlation. All right, dead end there. There was nothing there. Uh, what's a person that rides a bike with no handles? Maybe I can pull a personal anecdote. Have I ever run into a, a, a person that rides a bike with no handles? Yeah. I, I know people that do that. Okay. There, we got some. Yeah. I know some people. But that's the end of that thought. What do I What do I say about those people? That they're people that... No. What? Okay. So that's a dead end. I can't talk anything there. Maybe back to the egg? Hmm. Eggs. Cracking an egg with an egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So why did I say that? Um. Both are they're not impressive. Well. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um. To a kid. Both of those things look infinitely cool and impressive. But as an adult, you know that that's just a person that took the time. And some people even would say uh, that person's an asshole that does those things because uh, just do it normally. Don't, why you got to add finesse to everything? And there's actually, I bet those people prey on their downfall. They're like, I hope you fall off your bike. I hope, you know, you get shell <laughs> in your omelet because fuck you for being cooler than me. Right? Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's something. Yeah. Behind every person that uh, cracks an egg with one hand and rides a bike with no handles, there's a person that wants them to fail. <laughs> that's not me, but there is that person out there, right? Maybe the topic is a dud. Like, maybe I'm okay. Maybe it's just, this is a bad topic. Like, what am I going to do with this? Mm -mm. 
I can do something with this. I swear to God, I can do something with this. I have a whole list of what? 18 things. And that that one caught my eye. I was like, you got to talk about that one. That one's good. Start there. Okay. So let's get some gold out of it. Let's, okay. Cracking egg with one hand. It's like riding a bike with no handles. We have established that. Um, and cracking egg with one hand. Uh, how do you even do that? Do you still hit it? Yeah, you hit it for sure, right? Yeah, you, oh yeah, you hit it. And then you separate it. Okay. <laughs> right in the bike. Well, okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Cracking egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles. Dude. Wow. Holy shit. I. No. Oh my god. <laughs> riding a bike with no handles. I think that's cool. All right, let's take this approach. Yep. I think riding a bike with no handles is cool. But would I trust that person with my kids, my hypothetical kids? I don't know. That's a tough thing to say because you're like, oh, you don't even. But if someone rides a bike with no handles, it's because they trust themselves a lot, right? They're very confident. But you don't need confidence in a babysitter. You need security. So that's why. Okay, there we go. That's why. Ooh, boom. That's why someone that rides a bike with no handles, I wouldn't trust to babysit my kids because they have an emph- they care about flair, whereas I just need security and stability. Okay, there we go. As someone that rides their bikes with no handles is like someone in their 20s. You know, they live a very volatile, like carefree life that has some risk but what i need i need that i need that double handle double fisted um bike rider i need the the the, someone that handles their bikes with two hands that's like someone in their 40s you know they've settled down all they care about is the little things in life they just want to get from point a to point b they don't care what they look like they just want to be comfortable right Mm, yeah (laughs) Uh, riding your bike with two hands is like is like the dad shoe of bike riding because all it offers is comfortability support and reliability but then you know riding a bike with no handles that's like the heels or maybe vans vans aren't the best for support right but they're a skater shoe And when you skate, you're really like breaking down your body, right? All that impact on your joints and shit. But then, oh no, do you give skaters a bad rap? You're like, does that mean you don't trust skaters on your kids? Oh, shoot. Is that what I'm saying? No, it's not what I'm saying. I promise. I like skaters. Very nice people. The ones I've met. But then how does this relate to cracking an egg? Well, skaters could fall and crack their egg, you know, look like piggy from uh, Lord of the Flies. There we go. Got it. (laughs) But still, there's nothing funny I've said so far. Cracking an egg with one hand is like riding a bike with no handles. Okay. Um, Hmm. Yep. Okay. Both have flair, which I've already said. I'm not even tired. Like, <laughs> I maybe I'm just. Oh wow, maybe it's that. Maybe I'm like preoccupied mentally. Because I, I, there's things I need to take care of this week. And I'm just, I just am so focused on those that 
I, I don't know how to. <laughs> I can't even express that idea. There's something I observed about myself. Uh, I think when I was in high school, yeah, in high school I learned it. When I'm stressed, I have a tell. It's not a physical tell. It's, uh, I don't even know, you wouldn't call it an emotional tell either. I guess it's a verbal tell. No, I don't know what it is. I'll just tell you what it is. When I, when, if you want to know when I'm truly stressed, it is when I am unable to pick up on sarcasm anymore. When I'm stressed and someone's like sarcastic or funny, it goes straight over my head. I don't, I don't get it. I remember I was trying to put to oh God, I can't speak either. I was trying to put, oh my God. <laughs> Okay. I was trying to put together like this event in high school. And I remember I was like in the middle of like planning it and stuff. And one of my friends like made a joke and it was, it was sarcastic. It was, it was ridiculous. And I took it so sincerely and he was like, Garb, that was a joke. What a, okay. What a bad story. There was (laughs) What a shit story that I just told. There was nothing, there was no depth to it. It was just a, I, it was just a thing that happened and I didn't take you on a journey. I just told you these things happened and these people, God, dude, this sucks. I don't know. But, well, maybe this is what I need, right? Like I'll post this, but maybe this is what I need such like unequivocally, like my worst failure of a podcast. Maybe I just need to put it out there so that I can continue on. Cause maybe there's like a stress of like, Oh, I'm always scared. I'm going to mess up. Like I have all these cool things to say, but I'm scared. I'm not going to say them the right way. So maybe I just don't do the podcast, but maybe me planting a big old goose egg right in front of you will allow me to jump that hurdle and be like, well, now it doesn't matter what I make because anything was better than that piece of shit. And so maybe this is that piece of shit. Maybe this just has to be that. It just will be nothing but a thing that had to happen. But no, it didn't. No, it didn't. I could, I could not even delete these files, just keep them and never show them to anyone. Then it would be like it never happened. Only I would... Is it, Oh, holy shit. That's crazy. Only I would know it happened. If I did that. Like if I just took this footage and I just like didn't... Think, if I've, holy shit. Yeah, if I just deleted it, no one would know I did this here <laughs> today. Except me. So now the bargain is, do I just post this? <laughs> so that it is it exists or do I just delete it and try again next week you know and be like I don't know and but then I come back to the thing where it's like what even is the point of this <laughs> why am I doing this I don't know ideally you know do you ever do that thing with your friends? Like, if you had all the money in the the world, what would you do? Or what's like your dream? I've never liked those conversations. And I can't articulate why I don't like them. I think it's just maybe, maybe it's because it's like, it's, no. They see, because that's cynical. I was going to say, maybe because I know it's never going to happen. So why would I even think of it? You know, like the whole lottery thing. If you won the lottery, what would you, what would you buy? Why? It doesn't matter. Because I'm not going to. They're like, well, maybe, no, I don't even play the lottery. There's zero chance of me winning. Because I'm not even giving myself a chance. Oh, isn't that a metaphor though? Right? I don't know. No, but, oh God, but holy shit. Okay. So, but if you live your life 
the same way you play the lottery. That's not the way you want to live your life, right? Because then you will do nothing. So maybe every little action you put forward is like kinetic energy, right? Or potential energy. By putting it there, it's like it has a chance to become kinetic. But without it ever being potential, how could it be kinetic? But then isn't that the same thing? No. Okay. (laughs) But that's, yeah. Well, no, because that's what people tell. Okay. If people, oh God, dude. (laughs) The thing is, okay, hold on. Did, am I making an argument to play the lottery? Like, uh, <laughs> this is what gamblers say, right? Or it's like, uh, if you don't play, you have no chance to win. So play. But the chances are so low, so why play? But that's everything in life, right? What is the chance of anything in life happening? And then you get to a point where you're like, why play? Oh, and maybe that's where I'm at right now, where it's like this podcast, let's think in a perfect situation, it makes money. It gets a shit ton of listeners. But then it's like, what is the chance of that, right? So then maybe I'm met with this idea of like, then why do it? Why take three hours out of your fucking weekend, Garv, to do a thing like that? It's your chance to win the lottery? Is that what you're doing? (laughs) And see, this is the cynical side of me. Because I just said that thing, I just said that last sentence, jokingly, but with a frown. Huh. So maybe it's that. But then that's not how you should live your life, right? As if it's the lottery. Yeah, I mean, you already won the lottery, right? That classic thing. The chan- The fact that you're already a person means you won the lottery. So, but then statistically winning the lottery twice in a row, that's impossible, right? So then why play? (laughs) Yeah, math says you shouldn't try again because how did you even win in the first place? That's crazy, man. (laughs) It's like people that get struck by lightning, right? Where it's they suddenly now, if they live, they don't care. Rainy day lightning out. They're like, I don't give a fuck. What what are the chances that it happens twice to me? You know? <laughs> and I think that's why, you know, the whole thing, ignorance is bliss. If you just go forward with the idea that everything will work out, you'll be happier. But the problem is it's so hard to give into that idea, like, wholly. Oh, and then that's a bigger... Nah, I can't talk about that. (laughs) Whatever. I don't even know, this, this is a, this whole episode's a wipe, you know? I'll post it, but I don't even want to, like, introduce another topic. Because no one's even going to make it to this point, right? So maybe I should just end the episode here. But then wouldn't that be reinforcing the fact that I just went over, where it's like, you can't question, well, what's the point? Because then you won't do anything. So then you should do the thing. But then I don't want to like waste any of, any of these ideas. But it's like it's not a waste. Because anyone that would have made it this far. Will listen any other time. So then. Give a topic or talk about a thing for them right. Show up for the people that show up for you. God damn it. <laughs> these are good ideas. I wish I didn't have them, though. Because they annoy me, man. That shit sucks. 
All right. Well, for the people that are here, let me run an idea by you. Okay. Um, I think we have like 10 minutes left. Oh, here's something that's no, see, because I don't want to, I don't want to waste that because it's a nice idea, but I don't think anyone will hear it. But okay, I'll say it because where else is it going to go? Right. I notice when you hike with someone, um, eventually, and the screen turned off. Fucking god damn it, dude. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, when you hike with someone, uh, you keep doing that little bump into each other, but then you never acknowledge it because you're both okay with it. And I think that's like one of the sweetest things in life because when you hike with someone, you're both getting more tired, right? But then that little bump that you do with each other, I don't even know if you do it consciously or subconsciously, but it both, it's like a little way to tell the other person, like, I'm still here. Not like they would have gone somewhere. Like you, if they went somewhere else, you would see it. You'd be like, why the fuck are you running? We were on a hike. I don't know. You're my navigator. Wait, wait, (laughs) hold up. I don't know how to get out of here. The trail tapers off. I need to follow you. But it's it's really nice because it, it's you're in such a like a not a vulnerable position, but just you know you when you're tired. I don't know. It's nice to know that there's someone there, right? And the little bump, it's not an intrusive bump either. It's just like a touch of the shoulders. But its it always happens when you hike. Maybe it's because you're on uneven ground too. And you're like, oh, my bad, or whatever. And, and I think there's something really sweet about like not acknowledging it. Because there's two things. Either it's really pissing the person off. <laughs> or they like it. And to acknowledge it would be to ruin it. And I would, I think it would take away from its beauty, right? To like acknowledge and think too deeply about the nice thing you have. And maybe that's the way I have to think for this podcast, right? Or anything in life where you shouldn't stop and think about a thing. You should just accept it for what it is and realize how nice it is to have and keep going. I don't know. I'm sorry. I know I talked about, I think, last episode, one of the previous episodes, for the past few few months, I just felt like I haven't been funny, and it's it's still happening. Like, I've made people laugh in the past couple weeks, whatever, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I need... I don't know. <laughs> I also haven't taken a vacation in like four months. So maybe it's caught up to me, but I'm taking one soon. So maybe I'll be okay then. Maybe I need to go on a hike with someone, you know? Maybe that's what it is. (laughs) Anyways, I don't want to keep you long. I've already kept you so long. So I'll just go ahead and uh, end the episode here. And uh, I'll talk to you next week. Okay? Bye.